Hello everyone, CoinCollector here, and today we're going to be taking a, another look at some more antique silver. Now this is an item which I've recently acquired at an auction, amongst some other silver that I was buying. And as you can probably tell, it's a silver cigarette case. The thing that stood out for this item is not only its condition, as you can see it's fully working, opening, even has the two yellow fabric bands that would obviously hold the cigarettes in. Hinge, great condition, and the lock works perfectly and then you press the button to open it. Furthermore, this is actually a Masonic item. Because if we look at the front and read the inscription, this cigarette case was presented to brother TJ P. Terrell, whoever he was, by the members of Phoenix Lodge, which was established in 1860 in Simmons Town. Now interestingly enough, I've done some research on this Masonic Lodge and it still exists in South Africa, in Cape Town, in the district of Simmons Town. Now I actually wrote to them to see if they would comment on the item or if they were interested in buying it perhaps. However, they didn't respond. But it does still exist, this lodge, and it's been going for hundreds of years now. So this item was obviously presented to this TJP Terrell as a reward perhaps for his services to the lodge and helping people out, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, on so the item itself is about 80mm tall and 60mm wide. It weighs 75 grams of sterling silver, which is about 2.4 ounces, troy ounces. So it's a nice, big, chunky piece of silver, this. The design on the outside, as you can see, it's quite floral. This is sort of typical for the period from which it's from, which is, this item was made in 1915. So, you know, First World War era, it's a very typical design. The inside's obviously very plain. And then we've got the hallmarks. Now, as you can see, You've got a JGL Limited, the anchor, uh, the lion, and the date letter. They're, it's been hallmarked on both sides. This is because sometimes the items actually break in half because they're hinges. And that way you can tell that even though it's only half of you know, a cigarette case, it is still silver because it's got the, the sterling mark and the date letter. So this is a fantastic item to have in anyone's collection. Whether you're stacking silver, you know, it's 2.4 ounces of silver, can't really say no to that. Obviously, you do pay a premium for antique silver, although I often find it's very reasonable. And this, I got not much above spot currently, since the spot price has increased. So, onto the hallmarks, as I'm trying to teach people about them. The maker's mark, right, let's pick it up, is JGL Limited, and he was... Joseph Gloucester Limited, so he worked in Berman, quite a prolific maker, he made all kinds of things, including cigarette cases, you know, spoons, cutlery, all the traditional sort of stuff, and so he worked from 1908 until 1978, or his family did at least, because it's quite a long time. The anchor, obviously, stands for Birmingham, which has been used since 1773, very common symbol. The lion for sterling, stands for sterling silver, which is 92.5% fine and has been used for the best part of 500 years now. And then the date letter, which in this case is the letter Q from Birmingham, and it stands for 1915. So I hope you all enjoyed looking at a piece of amazing antique silver in such a great item like this. So remember if you want to see more content like this, or more coins, more silver, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications, and leave any comments about whether you've got any antique silver down below.